Hi, this is a very quick uh, example of embedding an offline or a downloaded Prezi within your PowerPoint presentation in both 2007 and 2010 using the slide dynamic PowerPoint add-in. So very simply, um, download the Prezi you want to embed and expand or unzip uh, the downloaded file and if you go inside it you'll see there are three things two folders one named data the other named prezi.app and obviously the prezi player itself the prezi executable so there it is uh, so to embed this in a powerpoint using the slide dynamic add-in all you simply need are these two folders you don't need the, the prezi.exe um, if you go to where your PowerPoint slide deck is located, a folder or location, I've just put it in a separate folder here, uh, there it is. Uh, you simply paste those two folders, so you'll have the data and the prezi.app folder from the downloaded um, prezi file, and now you simply open the PowerPoint presentation where you want to embed prezi and play it. So here I've just got two simple slides, very basic, but it's the, the principle and the concept. Um, so on the second slide I'll use this, obviously you'd move to whichever slide you want to embed Prezi in. Uh, then you go to the slide dynamic tab, a whole bunch of icons, simply look for the one, insert an offline Prezi, click it and it automatically embeds for you, that's it. Uh, you can obviously resize it and if you want to play it, simply hit play and there's my Prezi. And I can go using the keys on my keyboard or the mouse um, and I can obviously play it and do what you do with Prezi. Um, if I close, save it and reopen it and then just go back into show mode and there you'll see it again. So everything's fine. So closing, reopening PowerPoint, it works just peachy. If you ever get the, oops, there's trouble with your Prezi shown in your PowerPoint slide with a Prezi embedded in it, this is the reason why. If you close the presentation without closing the, uh, the whole PowerPoint application and now reopen it, you get this. And the reason is because of the way uh, PowerPoint loads a shockwave flash object, which this is, whether it's manually or using the slide dynamic add-in. Um, you will receive that issue. Uh, you need to embed it for the first time and play it, and that's great, or completely close PowerPoint, reopen it, it's great. But if you close the presentation without closing PowerPoint and then reopen that presentation, you will get that issue. So if I close that and then reopen it, and there you are. Hopefully that explains it, and if you had an issue, that's the reason why. Thanks very much.